Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to acid etch a knife. Alright guys, so let's talk about what you're going to need to acid etch this blade. Um, so, let's start with the etching solution. So this is PCB etching solution. I purchased it at Radio Shack. It was between $10 and $15, somewhere around there. Um, so yeah, so this is necessary. Uh, so we have then transferred it into a glass jar. Um, I believe glass is going to work best for this. Uh, that's been my experience. So next, you're also going to need another glass jar full of water. All right, and then you will need some nail polish, nice and bright red, and then nail polish remover. Uh, you'll also want some sandpaper. Uh, this is 320 grit sandpaper, so uh, I've used that in the past and it seemed to have worked out pretty well. Um, and you'll also want to have a heat gun to dry the nail polish a little bit faster, and then patience. So. Um, so next, let's go ahead, we're going to start taking apart the knife and prepping that and uh, show you how easy it is to take apart a 0561 from Zero Tolerance. Alright, so taking apart this blade is really easy. Um, so you are going to need a, a hex driver like this. So I'm not exactly sure the exact dimensions, but so what you're going to do is want to start with the pivot. So. Go ahead and start loosening that. Okay, don't lose that. Next, we're going to flip the knife over, start taking out the screws in the back. If this is the first time you've done this, taking these screws out, they may be slightly Loctited in there, um, so uh, be careful. But mine were pretty tight to get out. So, so now all the screws are out. Basically, knife comes apart. So you have a few pieces on the inside here. Your ball bearings, and there will be two of these. Unlike IKBS, these ball bearings will not go flying everywhere. <laughs> so, start taking the blade off. And then you have your other set of bearings and then your pivot. So, don't lose the parts. That's important. Most important step. <laughs> um, so, uh, next we're going to clean off the blade with some nail polish remover. Kind of get whatever gunk and stuff off of there. And then we're going to start prepping it for with some uh, nail polish. We want to coat the part of the blade that we don't want etched. So we will now coat the actual edge. So... Gravity do some work and let it trip down just a little bit there. Kind of makes a little cool running look. Next, we're going to do the other side. All right, so now let's go and uh, take it to a, either a hair dryer or a heat gun. Uh, in our case, we have a heat gun. So let's go ahead and start drying this off. It's also not a bad idea to put a little nail polish right on your pivot area here. Uh, just so that you're not etching away any important uh, stuff here to keep it from being an actual smooth open. Alright guys, so we have our acid here in our mason jar. So what we're going to do is carefully drop that in there. So now we're going to add enough to kind of cover what we need to. It's usually a good idea to wear gloves because this stuff's not really... The safest, I wouldn't imagine, for you to be touching barehanded. But. So now we wait. 
Let's give it about 10 to 15 minutes and uh, we'll pull it out and see how it looks. All right, so I went ahead and put it in a little bit smaller mason jar, um, but uh, I think that this is gonna work perfect. You definitely wanna cover as much as you can uh, of the blade, but. All right guys, so we are at about 14 minutes now. And let's just see here how we're looking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. that looks good. So let's go ahead and give it another minute or two. I'm gonna go fill up a little bit more water. All right, so we're about 15 minutes all together now. Let's go ahead and take this guy out and uh, see how we look. Go ahead and dump them in our water. So the water is going to stop the acid from etching. Oh yeah. Alright. Alright, so we took uh, our blade out of the acid bath, put it into the water bath, and then now we're going to um, take some nail polish remover and start taking off this nail polish. And then we will see uh, what we have underneath. All right, so we have now taken all of the nail polish off using nail polish remover, some paper towels, and a couple Q-tips. So now you can see there's still some pink residue and everything. That is where the sandpaper comes into play. So let's start sanding on this and uh, see what it looks like underneath. All right, guys, so we have this pretty much all sanded down. Um, so you can see on both sides. Uh, it looks really cool. I'm actually surprised on how well it turned out. I think on the next blade I'm gonna do, uh, it, it will be an acid watch, but then we're going to uh, stone wash it. So, uh, so stay tuned for the next video. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. And if you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. For more information, go to coyotemountainoutdoors.com.